Hello, my name's Scott Perry. I'm a professional magician and this is a magic review. It's a kind of magic. Today we are looking at The Fall by Noel Quarter. The TLDR on this, unfortunately, is that I think it is a complete waste of time for a number of reasons. I have wasted my money on this, so hopefully you don't have to. Uh, I will go into all of the reasons why I think this is not a good magic trick, it's not a good product, and, uh, and the reasons why I don't recommend anyone buys it as well. Uh, we'll go into all of those details, but the TLDR is don't waste your money, there's way better options out there, and uh, the things in this trailer, in this effect, in this product are a little bit ridiculous in my opinion. So that's the TLDR. Let's get into a few more details of why I have that opinion. Before we can get into my opinion, what is it? The Fool by Noel Qualter is, uh, <laughs> he says it's a version, a walk around version of card through window. It's not, it's a method of making a playing card and it's the same playing card every time uh, because you can do it face up or face down. So same playing card every time, it goes, it transfers uh, quite visually, I'll give him that, transfers quite visually, you put it on plastic bag, like a sealable, resealable plastic bag, and people hold it by the four corners, he puts a card on top of the bag, he gets someone to hold their hands underneath it, he slaps the card and it passes quite visually through and lands on the, the hands underneath the plastic bag. Uh, <laughs> that's what it is, that's the effect anyway. So that's what The Fool is by Noel Qualter. Uh, we'll go into a few more details now that you know what the, what the product is, what the magic trick is. What do you get? Well, I will show you. You get this box. Uh, you also get a little card inside that has a link to a URL for, sorry, a, a URL that links you to the video tutorial. It's roughly an hour long. It's filmed pretty well. Uh, again, we'll come into details probably in my final thoughts at the end of this of why I think the tutorial is ridiculous. But uh, roughly an hour long tutorial hosted on Vimeo. And then the rest you get a plastic bag. You get a little pot with a magnet and some super putty. And then you get a couple of gimmicks as well. Which uh, are handmade, but there is really nothing special about them. You can make these yourself very easily. Uh, there's, there's, they're not precision made. Uh, they will break eventually, and you will have to make your own eventually. Anyway, that's what you get inside the box. How easy is the fall? Uh, it's, it's certainly not easy. Noel says in the in the explanation in the tutorial that uh, you can perform it completely surrounded. While that is true. Uh, it, it also isn't true. So you can perform it surrounded providing everyone is your eye level looking down on the piece of plastic or the, the plastic bag or, or whatever it is that you're pushing the card through. If, peop if, you, if people are sat at a table, you can't perform it. If people are shorter than you, you can't perform it. You can't perform it on stage where people are looking up at you. Uh, so any angle where there are short people or at least people who are shorter than you, who are where are, there are children, where you are on a raised stage, any of these scenarios, you cannot perform it. So I would say that it's actually quite a difficult trick to perform. Also, your hands have to be a certain size to be able to perform the trick. So uh, the, the card that you're, you're making go through the piece of plastic has to be able to be contained within your hand like this. So my hands only just fit a poker size playing card. So if your hands are, are small, or if you struggle to palm a card, or if you have big windows in your fingers, you cannot do this trick. All things that should have been mentioned on the trailer, but are not because they want you to buy it and they don't want you to know any of the downfalls or any of the requirements in the trick. Very disappointing, but I do think that overall, it's quite a difficult trick to perform just because of the, the conditions that are required, the setup that's required, the reset that's required, like just everything. So it's not technically a difficult magic trick, but overall, I would say you definitely have to be a good, very competent 
uh, intermediate magician to, to be able to perform this. This is not a beginner's magic trick, but that's roughly uh, like how easy it is. It's not particularly easy to perform. And the reset time is not great either, which brings me to another point in the tutorial where Noel says, actually in the trailer, I believe Noel and uh, Matthew Wright, uh, Matthew Wright is in the trailer as well. I have no idea why this product is nothing to do with Matthew as far as I can tell. Um, he's just in a lot of the trailer hyping the trick up unnecessarily. But uh, both Matthew and uh, Noel both say in the trailer and also the tutorial that this trick is perfect for walk, walk around and can be performed over and over and over again. It can't, basically. It has to be reset. Even in the instructions, Noel says, he shows you the cleanup and then he says you will then have to go to a corner. He literally says you will have to go to a corner and do the reset. Yes, the reset isn't long. It only takes 5, 10, 15 seconds. But that isn't an instant reset. That isn't something that you can continue to perform from table to table and table. And you also have uh, gimmicks that are, that are sitting in the cards, in the deck of cards. You have to be pre-set up for this trick. It's not something that you can just get into on the fly easily. So again, another just ridiculous claim in the magic trick that it's the perfect walk around effect. It's not, but that's the reset time. Reset time is 15 seconds or so. Not too bad if you are going to perform the trick, but not really what they advertise. The angles as well, I did touch on the angles before, that basically everyone has to be uh, from your eye level looking directly down onto the piece of plastic that you're going to put the, push the card through. People can't be shorter, too much shorter than you. People, you can't have children around. You can't have people sat, sat down. Even, even if you have people sat down on chairs, they're going to see how it works. So basically, everyone has to be standing up. They all have to be around you like this. Even in the instructions, Noel says the best position to perform this in is having one person on one side holding two corners of the plastic, having another person on your other side holding the piece of plastic, and then a person in front of you basically to block out everyone else. So how is this something that you can perform 360 degrees when you're trying to block all of your angles by having spectators in front of you and on the sides? That's not being able to perform it 360 degrees. So yes, the angles are not great. Everyone has to be looking down. Um, that's pretty much the angles. Pocket space is okay. It's a bit all over the place. Uh, so you, you have to have one gimmicked card in the deck of cards. You then have to have the other specially gimmicked card on top of the pack of cards in a, in a very specific way. And then you also have this magnet that you have to attach to your hand. So it attaches to your hand by the putty, um, which again is ridiculous because some people are very sweaty. Um, even, even Noel in the instructions has an issue with getting the the magnet to detach from his hand properly when he needs it to. So that's the pocket space. You need to have a, a magnet uh, on a deck of cards that has some sticky putty that you will need to you will need to squeeze onto your onto the palm of your hand. You will need to have a, a gimmick in your deck of cards and then you will need to have another gimmick on the top of your deck of cards. That uh, is not a great setup in my opinion as someone who's been performing walk around in many venues for the last 10 years. Uh, this is absolutely not a trick that I'm going to perform uh, for all of the above reasons, and we'll get to more in the final thoughts. But in terms of pocket space, that's what it is. You also have to carry the box to the deck of cards on you. You can't have a loose deck. Well, you can, but you'd have to change the method. So realistically, in the way that Noel teaches this, you have to have the, the deck of cards in the box of cards, you have to have the plastic bag, or even more ridiculously, Noel, Noel says that he carries this piece of acetate sheet, this A4 piece of acetate plastic that's rolled up into a cylinder that has a rubber band around it that he has in, inside his jacket. Ludicrous, in my opinion. I would, I would never be able to get away with that for, for my clients to have a, a, a whole cylindrical piece of plastic, like bulging from, from my jacket that I then pull out and say, hey, this is a completely normal roll of plastic. Hold on to the corners. Just 
just ludicrous in my opinion but that is the the pocket space and also as well as the cards and the deck of cards you will have to carry a bag uh, the plastic bag is a slightly better solution than a cylindrical roll of uh, of acetate but still is it's it's like a bit all over the place so you can't perform this uh with like jeans and a t-shirt you have to have a jacket or you have to have some kind of coat or something to have everything in your pocket set up in a way that will allow you to perform the routine. So yes, the pocket space is not great. Multiple pockets, um, lots of stuff all over the place. And then also there's a point where the, the magnet that has the super putty on it, he says, if you're worried about putting that in your pocket and it becoming unsticky or, or losing its tack, just put a piece of a piece of scotch tape over the top of it. So that then adds to the fact that during the time when you're beginning to do this trick, as you're as you're setting up and getting the deck of cards out your pocket, you have to get the deck of cards out in front of them and say, oh, so just one second, let me peel off this piece of this piece of sellotape that I have here. Just let me put that there for safekeeping because I'll need to reset that. And then you go in like it's ridiculous to to think any of this stuff would work in the real world but that's pocket space and now we'll move on to my final thoughts if you haven't gathered already i think there are so many reasons not to buy the full but there are even more as well so uh, another another thing that i really dislike that this is not something exclusive to Noel or or this product they ship it with this this tiny tiny little box of super putty now if you perform the fall or if you have um, the double cross, uh, which a double cross is a great, great effect, but they only supply you, supply you with a little bit of super putty as well. No one in these products, in these instructions, tell you what it is or where to buy it. It's black tack. It's very cheap. You can buy lots of it. You can get it on Amazon. This is exactly the same stuff, but they give you a little bit and they don't tell you where you can buy more. And they also don't offer you refills. What is that about? Just in the instructions, we've already purchased your product. Just tell us where we can buy more of the stuff that we're going to run out of. It's, it's not difficult. Um, but there are, there are all kinds of other issues as well. Uh, as I said near the beginning, the, the gimmicks are going to wear out over time. You will have to make new ones. Not too difficult to make, but still, uh, you know, it's not going to last you forever. And all of the other things in the instructions, like, Noel over explains. I feel like watching the tutorial, Noel and Matthew have said, okay, we need to get an hour of instructions in. And Noel over explains, he, like he spends, he, he explains one thing three times for 15 minutes of, of a simple hand movement from underneath the plastic. And it, I just don't understand why he spent so much time explaining it. And it's good to be thorough, but there's a limit to that when you're just saying the same thing over and over again. And also with that, uh, you know, you something that they don't show you in the trailer is that when you take the card and you put it on top of the piece of plastic or the plastic bag, with the deck of cards in your hand, you have to bring that hand underneath that piece of plastic, which yes, you can get away with. And, and yes, it is possible to do that in a, in a working situation. But for me, that kind of gives away the method. Anyone who has some some brain cells can can think oh well he put his hand underneath the the plastic so he must have done something when he put his hand underneath which diminishes the effect overall uh, that brings me on to another thing the magnet that you you hit the card with because it's a magnet uh, attracting another magnet there's a big click and if you're performing in anything other than a very loud situation people are going to hear that so when you have that card on top of a piece of plastic and you do this, it's two magnets attracting to each other, which means you get this, this enormous click. And if you're performing in you know, this situation with a few friends, it's obvious. If you have even just ambient noise, it's obvious what's happening. 80% of this magic trick is performed, or 80% of the method uses magnets. Um, so you're going to get a lot of that clicking. Uh, and again, like Noel, say, Noel gives justifications for it, but I don't think it, that will really work in the real world. I've been a professional full-time magician since 2010, uh, sorry, 2011. 
And I don't see this ever working in hardly any of the situations except for the situations where I'm at an event for the after party where all of the formalities have happened, awards have happened, wedding has happened, whatever. There's loud music and people are a little bit drunk. That's the only situation I see this working in. There was another thing I wanted to say as well about, uh, you know, I said about you have to go underneath and then and then uh, the, the clicking of the magnet. But I, I, f I forget the, the, other, the other point, but basically this product is just riddled with issues that I don't think the trailer is transparent enough when it, when it explains this. As you can tell, I'm quite frustrated. It's a, a cool idea, but it's a terrible product. Don't waste your money on it. A simple uh, card through handkerchief, in my opinion, is just as effective, if not more effective than this. Uh, so that's the review today. Uh, I, hopefully you found it useful. Hopefully you don't buy this, um, but of course you have your own opinion, you have your own money. If you want to buy it, then buy it. I don't recommend it, but that's the review today. I will see you in the next one.